Hi, I'm Benjamin Berger, and I'm going to present our work on interpretable and interactive deep multiple instance learning for dental caries classification and bite wing x-rays. Dental caries is a widespread oral condition affecting more than 3.5 billion people worldwide. Bite wing x-rays are commonly used to diagnose dental caries. However, dentists only show a relatively low average sensitivity of 24% in detecting caries. In the image shown on the left, for example, there are multiple caries lesions, which are hard to detect because of the subtle differences in appearance. In this work, we attempt to detect such lesions automatically and conduct a study on a large-scale clinical dataset of 38,000 bite wings. We propose a weekly supervised deep multiple instance learning architecture that is interpretable by classifying local image patches. At the same time, we allow for the inclusion of dense segmentation labels, which in practice might be obtained for difficult cases in an interactive setting. In our architecture, which we call EMIL, the input image is first encoded by a convolutional neural network. Patches are subsequently extracted from the feature map using a sliding window. Each patch embedding is pooled, resulting in patch feature vectors. Each of these feature vectors is then both classified and sent to an attention module, which computes scores for each patch. Finally, each patch prediction is weighted according to its attention score, resulting in a global image level classification. Special to our approach is the introduction of a constraint in the denominator of the aggregation function, where the hyperparameter k min controls how many patches need to be attended to confidently classify an image as positive. We follow the standard multiple instance learning assumption and set k min to 1 in our main experiments. Since the model outputs local patch predictions, dense segmentation labels can be included to help the model localize the salient information. Both patch predictions, as well as attention weights, can be visualized as heat maps, where the pixels can be interpreted as probabilities. While the patch prediction map is more sensitive, the weight map is more precise. By increasing k-min, one can bias the model to be more sensitive, as shown in the first three rows. Similarly, increasing the patch size increases the sensitivity, as shown in the last three rows. We evaluate the interpretability of our model both qualitatively as well as quantitatively to various well-known post-hoc explainability methods. As shown in the table, as well as in the first three rows of the figure, EMIL shows comparatively high localization performance. In the fourth row of the figure, we see that EMIL is also able to indicate when there is no lesion in the image. In addition, we observe that EMIL tends to highlight caries, even though the evidence is not always strong enough to pass the classification threshold, as exemplified in the fifth row of the figure. Results are reported for both bite wing and tooth classification tasks. By including segmentation labels from an external imperfect carry segmentation model, one can increase both classification and localization performance. Compared to the baseline model, we see a significant improvement in the area under the rock curve. Interestingly, the tooth level classifier shows a much higher sensitivity of up to 64% compared to dentists, which only show an average sensitivity of 24%. Last but not least, I want to thank everyone involved in, in this work. Thanks also to you for watching, and if you're interested to learn more, check out our poster during the conference.